Hey y'all, Maggie, Milo, and Haley here with the Canine Pack in Hillsborough, North Carolina. These guys are just finishing up a board and train. They are siblings, so they came in together. Uh, we've been working on some confidence building, making sure Milo can wear a muzzle because he's had some issues with the grandkids in the house. Um, also making sure these guys can be okay off leash so their owners can take them out for potties um, and let them run around and play. Um, working on some confidence building they're both really nervous dogs and working on impulse control and overall bringing down their arousal level especially milo um, makes really bad decisions when he's aroused so we're working on just having less arousal in general so i want to show you their impulse control around the crate And so I don't want them to come out until I invite them out. And then I can call them to me and have them move with me through the house in a controlled manner. So we're again, keeping that arousal down and it keeps it from being a uh, zoomy to the door and an over exciting activity. Maggie, Milo, come. Good puppies. So I just want them to stay right with me. Come on. And again, this is just helping keep things really calm. Good job, guys. Come on. Come on, Max. Milo, come. Good. And then when I get to a new room, I want to be able to come over here and put them on place. Maggie, place. Milo, place. Milo, come. Milo, come. Place. And they can go on together or separate, but that, that cuts a little small for both of them. So I just called Milo over separately and let him lay on place. But this is going to be a safe way for them to be out and part of the family. And Milo can do this wearing a muzzle as well. Um, so they don't have to be necessarily roughhousing with the grandkids and making bad decisions. Like they've been told what they need to do and they're used to being held accountable to this position. So they just need to lay here. And it also helps with both of their anxieties because they like to move around and work off that anxiety. And this is a way to help them learn to deal with it. Kind of like meditation. They just need to be able to sit and be calm. They both also know a double down, which if they pick their heads up, I'll be able to show you, but they're pretty good at choosing it on their own so they're already moving into that self-regulation that I'm really looking for to where they know if they put their heads up and they like anxious pant or something I'm gonna ask them to put their heads down and they're doing pretty good regulating that another thing we've worked a lot on is making sure these guys can walk away from things that over arouse them or over excite them so furniture can be a really exciting thing just like balls toys food treats or anything they get um, obsessive about we want to make sure that they can walk away and that helps work on resource guarding and stuff like that so i want to show you guys that maggie milo out place milo place milo place and that's a fine choice you know they both fit on that cut so that's okay um but they're able to get down when I tell them and then they go into a controlled position. So if they're having issues with um, a kid in the house or anything like that, then they're sent away and then told to get in a control position. Another thing we really worked on is making sure they can recall through the house and then go in their crates when they're asked. And so it's not a battle of like, you have to get in, it's an argument. It's just something they know how to do now. So Maggie, Milo, come. And again, I want impulse control going in. Milo, kennel. Good. So I want that pause. Maggie, kennel. Good job, puppies. They did great. Impulse control of the doorway is one of the really important things that we focus on. So we don't want these guys to run out. They don't have a fenced in yard. So we want to make sure we're ready when it's time for them to go out. So they're doing great. Break. Maggie, Milo, break. Good job. Maggie and Milo's owner mentioned that they had a really hard time getting Maggie in the car. So I wanted to show you guys that. Maggie, Milo, float up. Good job, puppies. Down. Down. And then I automatically get them to lay down. So everything's calmer, less anxiety in the car, less arousal all over. And again, that's our goal. Just less arousal, less everything.
off leash outside with the pups and I want to show you their recall. Maggie, Milo, come. Good job, guys. Good job. So I want them to get close enough that I can touch, give them a little pet job, break. But I do that so I can adjust their collars or anything else if I need to. Break. Go. Break. Let's see if we can see it again. Milo, come. Good girl. Good job, Maggie. Good job, Milo. Good. Break. So this is going to open up a whole lot of freedoms and a whole lot of opportunity for these guys.